How's it going everybody? Before I get started on too much of this video, I just wanna say the point of this video is to come and tell you guys about a movie that I really want you to go see. It's only in theaters today and tomorrow. So if you wanna see it, you should go see it. It's called Pastor's Kid. And I've been talking about this movie for a long time. I'm gonna talk about it real quick again, uh, but you should go see it. I don't mind if you click off this video, go get your tickets at Fandango. Yeah, Fandango probably has it. Here's a list of all the places that you can go see it right here. So if you see in your town that it's playing, I recommend going to check it out. I'll get into the more long form explanation as to why I'm saying you should go check this movie out. Uh, this is not a sponsorship or anything. My channel's not big enough to get sponsorships and that's okay. Probably it's my fault because I don't upload often enough. And if you're wondering, I will eventually come out with another review and I do have a Q&A coming out later sometime. Uh, so those are two things to look forward to, two things to keep you subscribed, I think. Uh, so <laughs> please stay subscribed. So often people will ask me, less now, that I haven't put out a video in a while. Kevin, what's a Christian movie that you actually do like? And there's only a few, like I've, I've recommended The Chosen quite a bit, that's not a movie, but you get it. It's Christian content that I'm like, okay, yeah, this is good, this is well made. It's people who understand story, who understand what it means to make a movie. And I, I feel like that's one of the things that's really lacking in Christian movies. It's people who aren't filmmakers trying to make movies based on what they've seen and not based on having read about what it takes to make a film. When those things are criticized, whenever it's judged based on, hey, this isn't like a regular film, people will get defensive oftentimes. And really that's what I found in my career as somebody who reviews Christian movies. It's just uh, people getting defensive over something because they think they understand how a movie is supposed to go uh, because they've seen plenty of movies, but yet it's not good filmmaking. A lot of times people will say, well, that's kind of unfair because Hollywood has so much money and Hollywood does not have so much money. And so how can you judge Christian movies based on what Hollywood does? Well, this movie kind of is, proves that it isn't because of a bunch of money that makes Hollywood good at making good stories. It's because Hollywood understands the rules of filmmaking. And not that you have to follow the rules all the time, but you kind of, you gotta know the rules before you break them. And I can guarantee you most Christian movies are made by people who don't know the rules. So when they're breaking them, they're breaking them on accident. And I think that really, uh, that really sticks out. The movie Pastor's Kid is a movie about a girl who has grown up in the world of American Christianity. Uh, something that I connect to very much because I grew up in that world. And I feel like a lot of people who, a lot of you uh, also connect to that. That's why you've connected to my channel. Cause you're like, wow, uh, I grew up this way. I grew up kind of in this culture of cultural Christianity. I've questioned that. <laughs> and, and I've questioned that personally. A lot of people who watch my channel have, have questioned their upbringing, uh, which I think is good. I think it's good to think about your upbringing. Uh, I was just having a conversation the other day, which connects to this movie, about the movie Barbie and Greta Gerwig and uh, how there's a common theme in her movies, whether it's uh, Little Women or Lady Bird or Barbie, that is this exploration of who you used to be and what kind of was forced upon you or impressed upon you when you were a kid and examining that thing. In Lady Bird, there's religion and there's like your mother and what she taught you. In Barbie, it's, you know, feminism and what fe was supposed to be feminism. And of course, Little Women, which is an old story, but still the main theme is Joe has these dreams and aspirations of being a playwright. Just as a spoiler, a little bit for Little Women, if you don't know the story, you know, she's constantly having to choose between those dreams of being a playwright and caring for her family and trying to kind of get away from who her family was and what she was growing up so she could pursue bigger and better things. I connect with that very much because it's not that you throw that away. And if you look at Lady Bird, you have her examining her faith and examining her relationship with her mother and kind of rejecting that. But that's not how the movie ends. And again, I don't want to spoil movies, uh, but that's kind of the journey you go on. And if I think a lot of times uh, kind of the mentality of people who watch Christian movies or who are Christians, who enjoy movies that that kind of are successful in the Christian movie industry are maybe people who don't like hearing those questioning moments. They don't like the journey of discovery. They feel uncomfortable by it. They feel more comfortable with the 
conclusion. And so they would rather just start with the conclusion and say, don't ever question whether or not uh, my faith is real or whether faith in general is real or, or whatever, because by making a movie where you're questioning something, then that makes me feel weird and bad. And I don't know, I, I'm, I'm making assumptions about, uh, about why I'm just watching how like movies that kind of do this get criticized. You look at movies like Lady Bird that if you were to only watch the first half of that movie, you would think that the movie is criticizing faith and religion. But if you were to watch till the end, you'll realize that there's a glimmer of uh, maybe that's not all that this movie is. And I like movies like that. I've talked about on on whether you've seen this or not, but I've talked about how I like the show South Park, and it kind of does that. It, it scares away the people who would judge it at face value. It probably also scares away a lot of people who would judge it a little bit deeper and say, okay, this is making the point, but it's too gross in the point that it's making. Uh, but I like that kind of writing. All of that is to say that I feel like the movie Pastor's Kid is that type of thing. Now, I've talked about this movie before. I believe I even did a trailer reaction to this movie, and it's been a bit. It's been a couple years since then, and I've been waiting for it to come out and to be able to tell you guys that it is coming out, and finally it's coming out, so I'm, I'm actually really excited about that. I want you to go see it. I would really love it if you guys left comments in, in my video letting me know if you went to see it and if you liked it, what you thought of it, because I, I want to hear your opinions about it. You could send me an email if you feel like, well, Kevin's just trying to get SEO or whatever. There's no trick here. <laughs> Nobody's paying me to say this. This isn't uh, me trying to get views or whatever. If I was trying to get views, I'd put out videos more. All I want is for you guys to understand that I have criticized Christian movies for so long and there's a reason why when I see a movie like this, I actually want to tell you guys about it because I've I've spent so much time saying, this is bad, I don't like this. I wanna say, look, here's something that's good. And why is it good? It's good because it understands story and it understands a journey. It understands holding information, allowing the characters to explore. You can sense the exploration of the writer in the movie, and I love that. I like any movie that's that way, especially movies that do that exploration with something that I've had to explore. I've had to explore my faith, I've had to deal with the fact that my parents aren't perfect, and, and I went to these youth groups, and my, my parents went to these youth, you know, had me go to youth group or, or church or whatever, and then growing up and realizing, well, they're not perfect. You have that inclination, especially when you're a teenager, like, well, they're not perfect, and they told me that this was how you are supposed to be a good person. I'll just, with, a, with the caveat of my parents never actually said, the only way to be a good person is to go to church. Of course, it was always, going to church doesn't make you a good person but you can read all kinds of things into what your parents are saying. And it's, you're looking often, especially when you're a teenager, for those things that kind of say like, oh yeah, like you're looking for your parents to be hypocrites. It kind of affirms to you that, okay, yeah, it's, it's, it's good that I'm questioning my parents because you know, they told me this and they were wrong. They're not perfect. And you'll find out if you ever become a parent that, um, you know what, it's just really hard. I'm not a parent, but I can imagine. I can only imagine. So please go check out the movie if you get the chance. I'd really love to see what you guys think of it. And, uh, and I'd love to have a conversation about filmmaking in general. Cause you know what? I still love movies. I probably have grown more in my understanding of film since I put out reviews. And, uh, and that's been good. I'm consistently a student of the craft. Go check it out if you get the chance, and I will talk to you guys later.